when I first heard about the story I'm bringing to you right now, I was literally taken aback because when I saw a picture of Anne Hathaway and Nia Wilson put together, I knew that there might have been some commentary made on Anne Hathaway's behalf about Nia Wilson. And I was like, uh oh, what did Anne Hathaway say? That'll make me have to make a video about her and go in on her ass. But turns out I don't even have to do that. This is actually going to be a video of me damn near praising Anne Hathaway. Now, I know what many of you are going to say, like, what? Did, okay, Tareen, what did she say that is going to make you speak highly of her? Well, Anne left this pretty lengthy post on her Instagram page, pretty much owning her own privilege and basically calling out white privilege as a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you what Anne Hathaway said on her Instagram. She says, the murder of Nia Wilson, may she rest in the power and peace she was denied here, is unspeakable and must not, she, most, and she wrote and must not in all caps, be met with silence. Now you want to know what's so funny about that statement? She said it must not be met with silence, but yet Nia Wilson's godfather was saying that we need to stand down. Anne Hathaway got more balls than her punk ass godfather, but let me continue. She is not a hashtag. She was a black woman and she was murdered in cold blood by a white man. White people, including me, including you, must take into the marrow of our privileged bones the truth that all black people fear, and she wrote all in all caps, black people fear for their lives daily in America and have done so for generations. White people do not have equivalents for this fear of violence. That was probably the most... That was the most highlighted part of her statement. Let me read that again. She says, white people do not have equivalents for this fear of violence. Basically meaning white people, you don't have to walk over eggshells. You don't have to always look over your shoulder. You don't have to worry about being accosted uh, when you're being arrested and detained. Look at how they dealt with John Lee Coward versus how they dealt with other black people who have done way less than what he did. Dylan Roof plenty of others the list goes on and on but let me continue given those givens we must ask our white selves how decent are we really not in our intent but in our actions in our lack of action peace and prayers and justice for nia and the wilson family note the comments for this post are closed because she knows that if she did not have those comments if she did not turn the comment section off oh her white fan base would have went in on her. And they're probably going in on her now, to be quite honest. And I know they are, because I already read some of the comments under some of these uh, these pages. But most of them are black rand pages, so their their comments are very few and far in between. But you, you'll know what they look like when you see them. And then she hashtag Black Lives Matter, hashtag anti-racist, hashtag no excuse, hashtag say her name, hashtag earn the right to say her name. I have to give kudos to Anne Hathaway for saying that, not only because she's a white woman, but because of her position that she has. She is a white female Hollywood actress, where she could have just sat back and just stayed quiet about this whole thing, to be quite honest. Now, if Anne Hathaway was a quote-unquote feminist, and I don't know if she is or if she isn't, that is what a feminist should be doing. Notice that all these other so-called white feminists out here aren't speaking on the behalf of Nia Wilson. So if Anne Hathaway is not a feminist, I give her double kudos for that. Because she didn't have to do that. She could have just sat idly by and not said anything. But she knew that looking at this and, you know, she probably just couldn't be quiet like she couldn't stay silent anymore. Now, the only people that are, going, are really upset about Anne Hathaway's comments are white people because I was reading some of the comments and they was like, well, you can't judge us all or this is not always about race and everything like that. They love to say this is not all about race. That is their biggest deflection shield that they love to throw up whenever something clearly and obviously racist happens. This guy, John Lee Coward, was a part of a racist white supremacist organization. It was proven that because they, when after he killed Nia Wilson and and injured her sister 
he went to another location and changed clothes. The white people in these comments as if I really give a damn what any of them have to say. Talking about, well, you can't label us all. You can't throw us all into a box and everything like that. I was like, oh, really now? That's how you do us all the time. You love to label us all and things of that nature. One white person or a few, well, I take that back. A few hundred white people or a few dozen white people can do and commit all kind of heinous crimes and they'll only talk about that one white person as an individual. One black person does something wrong and automatically we get, we all get labeled under the guise of what that one black person did. Because that's how they see us. They see us as a collective negative in a negative way. But if some, if one of us does something positive, they'll see, that's the only time they'll see that black person as an individual. Like if you have your black millionaires and billionaires, they'll only see those black billionaires and millionaires as that one entity and not as a representation of the entire community. But you let one or like I said, a few white thugs do and get away with all the stuff that they're getting away with. And it's only a reflection on just them. They don't even say that the parents are bad parents or, or that, they, that they were being raised wrong. It's a whole bunch of things that go into this white privilege thing besides just having money. And that's the thing that white people don't understand is they think that white privilege means money because they hear that word privilege. That's not how it works. White privilege means you get to move, maneuver in ways that other people, especially black people, can just simply off the strength of you being white. Whether you are in the upper echelon or the middle class, which is damn near depleted, down to being poor. Lyndon B. for bitch ass Johnson said if he could convince the poorest white person that they are better than the um, wealthiest black person, then he's done his job. And that's actually worked. That was a trick that he got on white people. The trick he got on black people was like, I, if I can convince them, um, black people to vote Democrat for so-and-so years, I forgot how the quote went, I'll get them to vote Democrat forever. And unfortunately, that worked too. So I have to acknowledge Anne Hathaway for calling it out because she didn't have to say anything. She knows that her career could be on the line just for saying that. But that's that's a risk she's you know that she's taking. I can hear some of them white people right now. I am not gonna let my child watch Princess Diaries again. Well, that's too damn bad because Disney and Anne Hathaway and everyone else involved got your money. And by the way, a little fun fact about Princess Diaries, if y'all didn't know, Whitney Houston was actually one of the executive producers on that movie. If you go back and look at the credits, she's there. Her and another black woman, I believe, are executive producers for that for that first movie. I didn't know that until maybe a couple years ago. I said, oh, that's very interesting. So there's that. Shout out to Anne Hathaway again. Rest in peace to Nia Wilson. Hopefully her sister is continuing to pull through. Um, hopefully the family's all doing well. I really don't care about that punk ass godfather of hers. But uh, hopefully everyone is doing well. And you know, and shout out to Oakland. I, don't, I didn't get a chance to shout out Oakland the way I should have. The city of Oakland, California, is doing it up right now. I mean, they got rid of them Oath Keepers from getting to Maxine Waters. They handled that uh, white supremacist out there who came out there bad-mouthing Neil Wilson and praising John Lee Coward, the video that I had posted up on my Black Junction account. So Oakland is handling business. That they got rid of Barbecue Becky. So I think it's something about Oakland. I think it's because the Black Panthers were founded there. So, you know, it's like... Those bones are rattling right there. That 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 uh that part of the establishment is is shook at the moment. It's shaking and it's being shook. But that's really all I have to say as it pertains to this. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you would like to, you can donate via PayPal or you can become a patron on Patreon. I will greatly appreciate it. The links are down below. I will talk to you in the next one.